Hello, hi, welcome back to my course on enhancing soft skills and personality. I am Ravichandran giving you this course on the NPTEL MOOC platform from IIT Kanpur, Department of Humanities and Social Sciences. Uh, this is the fourth week and we are on the fourth unit and this is the fourth lesson that we are going to talk about people skills and this time I am going to introduce being attractive as the title of uh, this lesson. Now, you might be wondering like have I not discussed enough about being attractive when I discussed about likability? The answer is yes and no and if you ask like uh, won't we become attractive automatically if we follow all the traits of being likable? Again the answer is yes and no. Yes, you may become attractive but no uh, because there are certain subtle qualities that you still need to develop to become attractive, to develop that charisma, to develop that charm that actually goes beyond what I discussed in terms of likability as specific traits. Now, in this lesson as well as in the next one, let us look at those aspects that will generally make a human being attractive. And before I start, let me give you a quick highlight of what we did in the last lesson. In the last one, as usual, we focused on the people skills for this particular week and specifically the traits that make people like you and I identified most important qualities that make others like you such as keeping promises, being frank and open, using sweet words instead of using abusive words talking in low tone instead of shouting or speaking in a high tone, maintaining direct eye contact instead of flickering, uh, instead of wavering eye contact and then uh, being strong and showing strength of uh, character, being punctual instead of going late, being attentive, giving your full focus to the other person who is sitting in front of you, giving equal importance to all instead of uh, showing discrimination to people in terms of uh, race, religion or looks etc. Being balanced and open minded, being open to receive ideas, not being rigid minded, being humble instead of showing proud and pompous nature, standing by one's principles and values is something that people like, being humorous, occasionally showing a light hearted side in you. So, that also makes people like you being bold and decisive that is uh, your ability to make firm decisions, quick decisions and also be bold in following the decision, being quick to respond uh, if uh, you have to respond to someone either as a superior or even at the same level if you have to give response to an email or uh, written back a call. If you give a quick response, people generally like you. Showing enthusiasm in terms of talking to people, in terms of relating you with others, being patient and unbiased, being steady instead of being fickle minded, temperamental, changing like a chameleon, being tolerant that is instead of getting irritated, annoyed so quickly, giving a long rope to people who annoy you rather, being reasonable instead of being illogical. Letting others free instead of trying to control and cage them uh, in the name of uh, love, in the name of affection. So, instead of controlling you should set them free and if they really belong to you, they will come back to you. Apart from that I also discussed about caring for personal hygiene, possessing pleasant social etiquette and respecting the private space of others and last but not the least I said that when you are in contact with someone, you should always leave the other person with a good feeling and it is the good feeling that will make people to come back to you, to relate to you again and again. Now, let us come uh, to the core issue of uh, this lesson, today's lesson as how to attract others. Now, while normally people think that having good looks, looking handsome, looking beautiful or being humorous that is cracking a joke and making people laugh or dressing up nicely 
looking cultured makes one attractive. Overall, in a sense, these aspects make one attractive, but the real attraction happens at a deeper, subtle level. That is why, why is it so that people who look so attractive are disliked by many people? Why is it there is somebody who is so beautiful, but people detest this person? So, you will be surprised to know that it is not this cosmetic level of attraction, but there is something that goes deeper and we need to know what is it operating at the deeper level. In this lesson, let us look at the concealed issues, the hidden issues related to being attractive in terms of physical, mental and emotional levels. In the next lesson, I will focus only on the spiritual levels, uh, the level at which people relate to you and find you attractive at a, a spiritual level. Now, before we start, let us look at a simple dictionary definition of what attractive means. So, attractive is an adjective and it tries to define somebody who is looking attractive. And if you look at the online source, word web dictionary, it gives three meanings and we can use them to describe people at three different levels. The first meaning pleasing to the eye or mind especially through beauty or charm. So, that is the physical attractive level and it says examples like a remarkably attractive young man, an attractive personality, attractive clothes, a book with attractive illustrations. Now, the second one something that should concern us implies that having power to arouse interest such as an attractive opportunity, the job is attractive because of the pay. So, the power, so what gives you that power? And the third one, the way generally it is used in physics, having the properties of a magnet, the ability to draw or pull an attractive force. Now, the way I want you to understand attractiveness is a threefold way of looking at what is attractive, that is considering giving contingency to the physical aspect first. But going beyond that and then understanding attractiveness as a kind of power and at the same time as a kind of ability to draw or pull. Now, if you are able to understand that, then you will know that what is it that is going to make people pulled towards you? What is it that will give you the power to arouse interest in you? So, let us look at them as I said in terms of physical aspect first. So, let us identify the attractable traits focusing on the physical first. Now, normally many people think that face is what others look first, but contrary to this belief you should focus on the foot. Why? Why should you focus on the foot? Because psychologists agree with the fact that people look at the foot of others first. So, it is important to wear clean, neat, polished footwear or shoes and then it should also be appropriate. Appropriate in the sense that when you are dressed for a formal occasion, let us say you are wearing full suit. So, you should go with shoes. It should not be the slippers that you will be wearing in bathrooms or at home okay. and very unclean and uh, looking tidy. So, people first look at that and form their impression. So, the shoes or the footwear, whatever you wear, the slippers, if they are attractive, somehow psychologically it is creating an impression that you are attractive. This is very strange, very surprising, but then people say that this is one first impression that people form. Although it looks a uh, little bit funny, but it seems to be true. So, focus on the foot before you start focusing on your face. And then while you focus on the face, you should remember that it is not the face that is actually giving you the attractiveness, it is the entire body. So, you have to keep the body in shape. Let us say a walk, if it is majestic, if it is confident, if it is graceful. So, all the time people look at this and then even by the way you walk, if you walk in a graceful manner, so it automatically 
uh, arouses interest compared to somebody walking in a slouching manner, looking down with depressive thoughts, uh, feeling shy to look at people, walking in a kind of withdrawn fashion. Now, this will actually not attract the people. Similarly, in terms of uh, keeping the body in shape, you have to keep a fit structure and healthy physique because it is health that will attract the people and it will give charm to the face also. Now, all of these can be maintained well by regular exercise. So, only by uh, making regular exercise and then either it can be like whatever you do for about 45 minutes and then uh, that can be a normal walking or jogging or cycling or swimming and then occasional gym activities or playing some rigorous sports in the weekend. So, that will keep you fit. So, keep the body in shape. So, that is at the physical level you can make yourself attractive and the next two important points are you should eat well and you should sleep well. Now, why it is important that you should eat well? Because if you keep yourself nourished with rich food, that food itself will keep your skin glow and make your face look afresh. So, when you eat lot of uh, fruits and vegetables and then if you can drink fresh juice, now all will give glow to the skin and it will give a natural attractive uh, glow to your uh, face as well as to your entire physique. And you should avoid junk food that will make your face oily and look dull. So, this is a simple one. So, you should eat well and you should eat properly in the sense that you should not skip your uh, morning breakfast and then you should eat your lunch moderately and you should try to eat your dinner uh, by the time the sun sets. So, let us say around 6, 6.30 if you are able to finish it and then start your breakfast early. So, nothing like that if you can maintain that kind of uh, balance in your uh, eating habit. And so, with sleeping there is a great truth in the proverb early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. Now, nowadays owing to lot of uh, interferences from media watching uh, TV late night going for late night movies or just uh, working on uh, office late night or just catching up with friends on uh, social network WhatsApp or Facebook till 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock and then people just forget that they have to sleep. So, whether you sleep early or late, what is important is that you should sleep sufficiently well, that is 7 to 9 hours depending on your body. So, some people who are keeping themselves fit, who do yoga regularly, who are doing exercise regularly, they are even used to just 6 hours sleep but intense sleep and they are able to manage. But those who have disturbed sleep, they say that at least 7, 8 or 9 hours depending on your body condition. Now, the next important thing is resting between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. in the morning that is 3 o'clock as they normally say is the devil's time, is the time that you should be completely at rest, the mind should be completely at rest and that is a must. And only by sleeping and letting the body replenish, you can look fresh, bright and attractive. So, sleep is the hidden uh, aspect as far as the physical aspect of making you attractive is concerned. If you sleep well, you will look well, you will look good. So, keep that in mind, eat well, sleep well and then other important aspects with regard to physical traits that will make you attractive. If you look at all great personalities, they will be creating a kind of signature personality and you should live your signature personality. What do I mean by this? Create the signature you by identifying unique characteristic traits that will represent you. This means identify something that will typify you, your looks, the thing that you wear, the dress that you wear, the shoes that you wear, whatever it may be. 
So, that should be immediately recalling to others mind your face, your figure. Now, look at some good examples. The moment I say Mahatma Gandhi, so you will remember his round spectacles and walking stick. The moment if I say Jawaharlal Nehru, immediately Nehru's jacket. So, now the term itself has become a kind of name for the kind of jacket that he was wearing, the rose that he was fond of and the love that he had for children. So, that we even have his birthday commemorated as children's day. So, these are things immediately you will identify with uh, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Now, look at uh, another uh, famous comic personality like Charlie Chaplin. So, immediately you will remember that short moustache, so which also uh, was popularized by Hitler okay. and then the tramp suit and coat, his cap and stick. So, immediately you will know that oh this is Charlie Chaplin, even if people will put the moustache, the cap and the stick. So, you will understand that okay, you are trying to represent him. So, identify this unique characteristics which will make you develop that signature personality and then try to highlight that in you. So, leave that signature personality. That is something that will make people attracted towards you because they know that you have identified what is unique in you. The next one it is a test for you, learn to attract children. Now, do whatever possible to attract children. The tip here is, you have to be genuinely concerned and focused to attract children. Children easily detect fake people and avoid them. So, it is not that easy to attract children unless you are good hearted, unless you are open, unless you are genuinely giving them the warmth they want, unless you pay them sufficient attention, they will not be attracted towards you. So, a test in developing your skills to make you attractive is to make you likable by the children around you. So, and then if you start generally liking children, it is a way to develop your candidness, openness and your own uh, genuine nature. Now, let us look at two important traits that one uh, person needs to develop. If one wants to become attractive in terms of the mental level. Now, at the mental level, you should maintain an intellectual charm. What do I mean by this? You should connect to people at an intellectual level. So, you should have engaging ideas for discussion. To do this, you should be reading a lot. You should read good books, books which provoke your uh, philosophical thinking, books which try to uh, provoke your uh, fervor for literature. So, good thoughts, noble thoughts and then keep nurturing good thoughts from all the materials that you have been reading and be open to share and receive them. Be receptive as mentioned in Rig Veda, let noble thoughts come to us from all sides. Be open to noble thoughts coming to you from all sides, collect them, accumulate them and then share them also wherever it is required. So, that will give you that intellectual charm. The next one in terms of mental level of attractiveness you need to develop is be open, it be a mystery to others. Okay. This sounds contradictory. On the one hand try to remain open that is frank, candid as it was discussed as a likable quality, but at the same time do not open yourself too much. You should also keep some kind of uh, mysterious quality about you to yourself and to others. The Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard says, quote from him, one must be a mystery to oneself and to others. What does he mean by that? He says that while you keep introspecting about yourself, you try to understand your own asserts and limitations and then you are trying to figure out what you want in your life, but you keep working and keep others guessing about what motivates you, what keeps you smiling all the time, what is your purpose of life, what makes you go about chasing your goals in a very happy manner, why are you helpful, 
why can't you be manipulative like others etc. Make people wonder about you, you do not have to explain things to them. So, that is what is meant by that mysterious quality that you can maintain that will also make people attracted towards you. Now, let us look at attractable traits in terms of the emotional level. At the emotional level, try to touch others heart instead of maintaining superficial connections appeal to people's emotions, try to connect with their innermost feelings, be with them in their happy and sad moments and in your talk and action contribute to as many feel good factors as possible. So, feel good factors whether it can be giving a small bouquet or complimenting or doing some thoughtful thing that makes others feel good. So, try to do this as many as possible, so that it touches the heart of the other person and when you can touch the hearts of other people, so you automatically become attractive. This followed by your ability to use your memory to maintain contacts, so that will also make you attractive. So, you should use your memory how? First, remember people's names. So, whether it is uh, Dale Carnegie in how to win friends and influence people or any psychologist, any buddy uh, who talks about influencing people or uh, maintaining good contacts, they will all tell you that you should remember people's names and then call them the way they want to be called. So, somebody like let us say Gopala Krishna Kumar. Now, you need to know whether he would like to be called as Gopal or Gops or Krishna or Krish or just Kumar. So, you ask him how he would like to be called and then if he says call me Krish, so you call this person Krish every time you meet this person and the person is going to like you immensely and that is how you develop your attractable quality because psychologically again people want to be called by their names and they like those who remember their names. And when you call them the way they want them to be called, you are making you much more attractive and likable. And when you are introduced to someone for the first time, especially in a party with lot of noise and activities going on, you may not be able to remember the person immediately. So, do not hesitate to ask other people to repeat their name. If required, you can note that in your uh, pocket note or a paper or you can note that in your contact list on your mobile. And if you cannot get the pronunciation of the name, you can ask the uh, person to say how it should be pronounced and you can repeat it and ask whether you are pronouncing it correctly because people do not like their names to be mispronounced. So, that also annoys them, irritates them, that will also make you to be disliked by them. So, unintentionally you should not be making this mistake. And secondly, how you can use your memory, remember them to wish them on special occasions such as birthdays, even sending a small message. Uh, SMS or greeting card or WhatsApp or Facebook or if you are in the town and if you have time, if you can meet them and uh, just uh, give a small memento on their uh, special occasions like wedding anniversaries. So, again uh, you become very attractive for them. So, because they know that you are valuing them in your life and they will start valuing you in their life. Now, when I talk about value, I should tell you that you should develop another important attractable trait in terms of uh, developing that at emotional level that is you should learn to value yourself to be valued by others. What does it mean? You should first know your self worth, understand that you are invaluable owing to your integrity, intelligence and charity. Charity is your kindness your ability to help others. Now, you may not be a very big person, you may not be a very rich person, you may not have a very uh, 
high background, you are not born with that uh, silver spoon, does not matter, but then you do not devalue because of these things. You may be much better than those people who are born with that silver spoon and uh, uh, you may have developed your integrity, intelligence, skills and kindness which other people who are coming from very rich background might not have developed. So, you need to value yourself and people know that when you value yourself, you become attractive, they will automatically find you attractive. The next point I want to make is in terms of attractable traits at emotional level, love yourself. Love yourself to be loved by others. Learn to love yourself in terms of both your assets, the good qualities that you have as well as the limitations, the negative qualities that you have. Try to love both in you and accept both of them. And love is not being weak, love is not being weak and trying to lean on somebody expecting that a strong person to love you and change you. So, that is at a very uh, infant level, immature level. Love is being strong enough to support another strong person in vulnerable moments. If you really love someone, you first make yourself strong and then give support to another person like you who is also strong enough, but at the same time even strong people become vulnerable, they become weak at occasions. It is at that time you need to make the other person feel that you are in a team and then you are willing to help the other person. That is how you can show that you are uh, loving yourself and you are loving the other person. Okay. And then in terms of emotional level, finally I would like to conclude by saying that learn to be yourself start liking you, loving you and just be you. Do not imitate others. Emerson says insist on yourself, never try to imitate others and he says that imitation is suicide. When you try to live like others, you are killing what is original in you and at the same time do not seek to impress others. Do not try to behave in a manner that others will like you and do not indulge in attention seeking behavior. If others are not noticing you, you do not have to do something funny or weird to make those people pay attention towards you. However, people are drawn to those who are natural and self contained. If you do not indulge in attention seeking behavior or try to impress others, people will find you attractive naturally. And as it is said normally, Look at a butterfly, when you chase a butterfly, you will not be able to catch it, it will forever elude from you. But when you sit calmly in the garden amidst so many butterflies, one of them, two of them, three of them, when they look at you sitting very calmly, gently, they may come and rest on your shoulder. Okay. So, that is life, when you chase for people they will always be elusive and they will be always eluding you. But when you are focused on being yourself and when you are self contained and when you realize that you alone will be your best friend and you alone will survive, you can be independent. But at the same time being interdependent, you are able to make two people and more than two happier. So, in that sense you try to create a bond, so that is why you seek others, but not to impress others, not to create this attention seeking behavior which will actually uh, make people irritated uh, about you. So, do not do those things and just remember this butterfly analogy, be quiet and then the butterfly will come and sit on your uh, shoulder in a very gentle manner. I leave you with one interesting quote from Dr. Wayne Dyer about the law of attraction quote unquote he says, the law of attraction is this, you do not attract what you want, you attract what you are, you do not attract what you want. 
So, if you want a truthful person to be your partner, unless you are truthful, you will not get one. That is the message of uh, this quote. So, to attract what you want, so you have to make yourself attractable in such a manner that what you want will come automatically to you. So, that is about the law of attraction. Uh, there are some interesting online articles which I have uh, listed here about 10 habits that make you more attractive, top 10 important things that money can't buy, 13 habits of exceptionally likable people. Now, you can take a, a quick look at them and as well as the previous books that I have mentioned. So, this is just like if you want to know more about this, but if you are able to start following this very soon you will develop this attractive personality. In the next lesson I am going to talk about the spiritual level and I uh, will come back with some interesting stories. Until then I say bye and thank you so much for watching this video.